if it is somebody who is starving himself, the moment you say, your mother and your sister, uh, excuse me, excuse me, they will just run away and to attend to family because that is what selfishness is. Mm -hmm. There are some of us who, if our phone ring, but we are still listening to the message, our phone is ringing, we will, we will run outside, yeah? we, will, we, will, we will open the door. <laughs> you don't want to meet even one phone call while you are having the door. Yeah. You see, that, that type of character, the Lord is seeing you and say, oh, which person is more important to you? Is it the person calling you or me who is speaking to you? Mm. When you are hearing the message of God, put in your heart as if Jesus is here talking to you. Because mm. the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. Mm. The word was with God. Mm. And the word was God. Amen. Treat the word as God. Mm. Because Jesus is the word made flesh. Mm. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. See that? So, so put your priority right. <laughs> Put your priority right. Priority means your table of what is important in your life. Mm. How, how you see things. What is important in your life? God must be first. Mm. God must be first. The starting orders, your community, your church, your origins can come second. Of course, your family includes mm. that. Mm. Then, yourself you will be last. Yourself. There are people, if you give them food to serve other people, they will first of all get a lot of the food for themselves. <laughs> when they get a lot of the food for themselves, then they say, eh, they when it belongs to anybody else who wants to eat, you know, they have gotten their own, they don't care. But there are people who, if you give them food to serve people, they will serve everybody, and nothing is left for them. Then the people will, they serve, We'll be asking them, where is your own food? Oh, the food is finished. I didn't get any one. Oh my God. The people will just be worried for you. They say, you gave up all this food. You don't have anything. Then all of them, they will be bringing their own food. And they say, okay, you take. You see, people who are like that, they're always on top. You see that? They're always on top. Those people will never forget them. Wherever they say, who will lead us? Everybody will say, let it be sister. Sister Rose, sister. The money is that because this person is serving with their heart. Mm -hmm. But if you are serving yourself first, <laughs> you serve yourself or you serve your family first, and then you look for your friends and you serve them first, then whatever I remember, I don't know these other people. You know, no, that's not how to do it. Jesus is teaching us how to do it. Well, Jesus is saying, self shouldn't come first. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Who will come first? God. Mm. Seek forth the kingdom of God and righteousness, and then all these other things shall follow. Amen. God always explain how things work. Yeah. But people forget, but people are very busy. They don't they don't. <laughs> but that's why we come to church, in order to listen and then slow down mm. so that we know the process. Everything the Constitution promises has a procedure to get it. Mm -hmm. Think about the Constitution of your country. Mm -hmm. It promises a lot of things. There's a procedure. Mm -hmm. You don't go on the street, you take those things. No, there are procedures. You mm -hmm. Either you write a letter to your counselor or you dig. Mm -hmm. The Constitution will spell out how. The Bible spells out how to do whatever God asks us to do. Jesus said, be like me. Then we are saying, how can we be like you? Jesus said, listen to me, see how you can be like me. Number one, deny selfishness. Deny that means selfishness. Two, take up your cross. That is the one I want to, want to explain now. Take up your cross. How do we take up our cross? What is our cross? Did you see the, the passion of Christ? Mm -hmm. You see, when Jesus was carrying his cross, everybody has a cross. Now, the cross is the suffering which you go through before you make your progress. Everybody has something to suffer before he goes to his promised land. Mm -hmm. Please, don't run away from every suffering. Oh, I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't do that. Some people run away from trouble and from suffering, not knowing that they are running away from the blessings also. You see that? The blessing follows the little suffering. 
For example, when Jesus suffered in the flesh, he was raised by the Spirit. If you read Philippians 2 from 5, you understand what happened because of his suffering. Let's go there and see what happened. We'll come back to Matthew 16. Let's go to Philippians. In Philippians 2, 5, 6, 7, then 8, 9, 10. Okay, so follow me while I read. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not properly to be a fall with God. But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him. See the blessing after suffering. See the blessing now. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above all every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth, and things under the earth. And that every tongue hey, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord Amen. to the glory of the Father. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Now, why did I read this? It's because Jesus suffered for Then when God looked at him, he did it because of the little suffering, deny God. Or say, oh, or run away. When he went through that, God raised him and then gave him a name above all other names. And ask everything, whether they are in heaven or the earth of the day, to bow down before him at the name of Jesus Christ. He made Jesus the Lord of all. You see that? Why? Jesus went through the cross. Hallelujah. If we go through a little of our cross, you see that Jesus said, if you follow me, deny yourself, take up your cross. Take up your cross means if you return home, like Sister Jenny will return. If you return, and then they find out that you are a very good Christian now, and then you begin to tell them, please, my dear sisters, please, my dear uh, people at home, please, repent. Repent and uh, follow the way. They will look at you like this. They say, are you not Jenny? Are you, have you changed? They say, what, what, what happened to you? Did you live Catholic church? Did you live this? Some of them will persecute you. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. That is your cross. Yeah. That is the cross you are carrying. When your friends will leave you, that's the cross. But Jesus said, carry it. Don't deny the cross. Just carry it. When you carry it, a, a little less, some people will say, oh, man, this guy's life has changed. I know him when we were at school. She is not like this. Not. Then they begin to follow you. They say, tell us what sent you. Tell us your church. Tell us where to go. You become their advisor. You see, now they rejected you before, but now they are coming back to you when they test that you are real. Amen. Everybody wants to know that you are real. Amen. They don't want to see, jump into you because you may deceive them. But when they watch and watch and watch, you didn't drop your cross. You didn't deny the Lord. You carry your cross steadily. Many people will join you. Mm -hmm. See that? That's why you must say, deny selfishness, but carry your cross. Mm -hmm. See that? I follow him. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. So that is the third one. The third one here is. Follow him. Number one is deny self. Number two is carry your cross. Carry the cross. Number three is follow me. Follow Christ. Now, when you follow Christ, what does that mean? When you follow Christ, you are his image. You are not saying another thing. You are not saying your own thing. You are not of your own will. You are saying everything Jesus has said. And you are behaving like Jesus. And you are like him. That is what follow me means. It's not just follow. Where do you see Jesus in the flesh? You follow him. You can't see him anywhere now. But if you follow his way, if you follow his way, his way is righteousness. You follow righteousness. 
You see that? The word is the word of God. He is the word of God. You follow the word of God. If people gather and say, oh, come and help us. We want to go and tell lies and do this and do this. You say, no, 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 I'm a child of God. I'm not going to do that. You are following Christ. Mm-hmm. If they say, oh, let us go to party tonight. We are going to party. And then we are going to go and You say, no, I'm a child of God. You see, I'm going for a meeting. You are choosing the right way every time. Mm-hmm. But even when people want you to choose the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Because most of your friends, actually, if they are not there, they will try to make you to choose the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But you have to deny self, take your cross, and follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus, that means that as he is, so you are in this world. As he is, so I am in this world. You see that? That is the fantastic thing about Jesus. We must conform to his image. Conform to his image. That word conform means to be like him, like a child. You know how you mow a block and then you put that thing there and then you bring down this thing and then the block looks like you know the same thing. That's how it is to conform. To conform. You become like. When we become like him, the devil will see him in us, the devil will flee. You run out. If the devil see you in you, you will not run out. If the devil see your friend in you, you will not run away. If the devil see another person, maybe the star you like so much, uh, you know, maybe your, your, your famous musician, the devil see that person in you, you will not run away. But if the devil see Christ in you, he will surely run away. Mm-hmm. He is the one and the only. You mm-hmm. must make him, give him that position. Mm-hmm. Don't allow anybody else to take that position in your life. That is what it means to be a child of God, to be in the image of Christ. Mm-hmm. There is a place in you, only Jesus should be there. That throne in your heart is not made for dreams, it's not made for covetousness, it's not made for, for superstars in the world, it's not made for your famous uh, you know, musician, it's not made for friends in the, in the Facebook, no. It's made for Christ. Mm-hmm. Give him his position. Then he will now give you all of that things. Amen. Seek first the kingdom, righteousness. Mm-hmm. Then all these other things will be added to you. Mm-hmm. But when you make the last things the first, mm-hmm. then that means that you are making the first the last. Then God will say, I don't know you. That's why when they come to Jesus, they ask him, Which law is the greatest law? The lawyer asked Jesus the question, What did Jesus answer? The Bible said, Jesus answered and said, what did the Lord say? He said, Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and then with all your soul. Mm. And then love other people, your neighbors, mm. as you love yourself. Mm. This and the whole law. This, if you have done this too, you have passed the exam. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. You are part of the exam. Mm-hmm. This is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. We set us free from the law of sin and death. The law of sin and death is the Ten Commandments. You know, that shall not, that shall not, that. But Jesus has made it simple mm-hmm. by giving us only two love God and love other people. Mm-hmm. Then, by loving other people, you will not rob them, you will not kill them, you will not destroy them. Then you keep all the Ten Commandments. This is what I call entering. If you are going to go to 50th floor in Hong Kong, you know that? 50th floor. How do you go? Do you go by oh. the staircase or do you walk? Do you walk the staircase or do you go by lift? Yeah, the choice is yours. The staircase is there. <laughs> <laughs> the lift is there. <laughs> if you want to go by lift to 50th floor, try it. You will be sweating and sweating because the thing is too yeah. high. You will be resting on the way. You will be going... 50th floor. When you count one, count two, count three, count three, count four, there are still, there are still how many? 40, 46 <laughs> remaining. You are only in the first floor. You see that? But try the lift. Just only a press button. Yeah. The door will open for you by yourself. You will enter, you press another button, the door will close by yourself. And then, if you begin to go to the number where you have Everything is automation, you know. Blah, 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 blah. You wouldn't even know when you are at 50th floor. 
This is what Christ has done for us. Hmm. We can no more go to heaven by the law, by doing it by ourselves. That's what the law says. But we can go to heaven by grace. Hmm. By yeah. grace. Grace hmm. is the lead. The law is the status. Hmm. You are going to climb, you are going to climb. If you fail the one, they say you have failed off. If you fail the one, you have failed off. Oh, you are climbing, you are suffering. Why not try the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? Do you know what the Bible says about grace? He said that His grace is sufficient for you. Mm, amen. It's sufficient. Amen. You just enter the, the lift of His grace and mm, press the button you are, where you are going. Amen. So you can see the fantastic thing we are, we are talking about. Mm. But before you use that grace, before you use that grace, you must, number one, deny yourself. Because self doesn't work with you. Because self, self is is a very, very bad thing. Now, see, mm-hmm. when I live here, I know that the Bible is true. There are people who are selfish. Mm-hmm. And don't make friends with so much selfish people who cannot give other people a real chance. They all just want to grab, 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 mm-hmm. grab, grab, grab. Mm-hmm. That is not good. So now, see the procedure. Jesus wants to give us the procedure. Mm-hmm. The process. Whenever you see, be like me. How do I be like you, Lord? You lost the listen. Number one, deny yourself. Mm-hmm. Deny selfishness. Give people a chance. Mm-hmm. Try to serve your community. If you live in any community, serve. Serve. Don't be, don't be the Lord. Just serve. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, if you want to be the leader, serve others. He said that in the world, people who want to be the leader, they sit down on their throne and ask others to serve them. But in the Lord, the leaders serve others. You can see how our leaders mm-hmm. always serve us, you know. You can see how our pastor always serve us. It is the leaders in the Lord who serve us. But in the world, the president is, is the big man. He doesn't mm-hmm. do anything. Others are serving him. It's like a king. Mm-hmm. But Jesus said, it is not disturbed in the kingdom. In the kingdom, he who shall be the leader shall be the servant. Mm-hmm. The Bible says in Philippians, Philippians 2, 5. What did he say? Somebody read Read for me. Philippians 2, 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Six, yes. Who being in the Lord of God, and not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Uh-huh. Thank you. Look at what that place says. said, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. What was that, that mind? Self-denial. Who being in the form of God, Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He was God, but he denied himself. He became like a man. Jesus is God. What the place is saying is that if, if Jesus say, I am God, I'm not going to serve anybody, he is right because already he is God. But he didn't do like that. He humbled himself and served like a man, even though he is God. That's what the Bible is saying there. He is God, but he didn't. He didn't kill anybody. Oh, you are you are wrong. You are no. Remember when even a woman who committed adultery ran to him. He didn't tell them that that woman. Oh, you are a wicked woman. No, go depart from me. I am holy. You are no. He is God, but he did not always show himself like that. He always humbled himself and mm-hmm. tried to understand, understand the weak, mm-hmm. understand people who bring complaint. You mm-hmm. understand them. You see that he listened to the woman, the woman, woman, who are your accusers? The woman said they have Jesus defended that woman. Jesus also defended the sinners. If you make a mistake in your life or you sin, you know, when you talk to Jesus, he listens to you. Then after he will pray for you and say, Lord, go, your sin is forgiven you. So he is not selfish. That's what the Bible is trying to make up there. He is God, yet he is he is a all with God. He is the Son of God. There is no greater God. No, the Trinity, they are all involved. Mm-hmm. You know, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. You see that? Jesus is the Son. So, but why did he become a man? Because he humbled himself to serve. When the Father saw how Jesus humbled himself, what did he do? The Father was watching the Son humble himself and became like a man to serve people. What did he do? What he did was in 9. Can we read 9? Can we read 9 there? Philippians 2, 9. Let somebody read 9. You see what God did for him. Wherefore God also has highly... Wherefore God has also highly... Yes? 
Exalted him. Exalted him. And given him a name which is above every name. And giving him a name which is above. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see, God was watching when Jesus humbled himself, become like a man and serving people. Then God said, This this is the real thing I want. I will lift him up. I will lift him up above everybody because he has humbled himself. He lifted him up above every above everyone. He gave him a name that is above every name. And lifted him up above everyone. That in the name of Jesus Christ every name should bow. That is wonderful, isn't it? Amen. That is fantastic. So, in the same way, if you deny yourself, if you deny yourself, God will bring the right thing for you. If you do like Jesus, God will reward you. If you deny yourself, that means that you do not practice selfishness. Like all of us do here, we don't practice selfishness. I can see that you are always serving one another. That is a very good one. So we deny ourselves. Then, second one, we do what? We carry what? Our cross. Our cross. We endure the suffering. We endure. So when you are serving people, there is a lot of suffering. But when you are serving people, so many people don't even understand you, they will accuse you. When you are serving other people, for example, in your community, you are serving them. Some of them will say, oh, who knows what they are paying you to serve us? Who knows what you are receiving? Oh, tell us what your salary is. Oh, tell us what you are taking. Why are you serving? You know, they will talk to the Jew like this. The Bible says, endure. Carry your cross, endure. But when you carry it, God will see what you have done. God will come and promote you. All of them, they will now be saying good things about you. They say, we know him. He has worked like this. He has worked like that for two years. He is very sincere. If he has anybody... That we do this, it is this person. They now talk good about you. God has promoted you. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. So, in summary, how to conform to Christ? Number one, deny self. Number two, take off your cross. That is, pass through that problem. Don't say it is another person. Mm-hmm. Yes, if you can sacrifice for other people, do it. That is, yeah. that is your cross. Number three, follow Christ. Don't do it for you. Don't do it because because you want your name to be known. Don't do it for selfish reasons. Don't do it because people are watching you. The pastor is there. Don't do it because, no. Do it because of him. Follow him. Somebody say amen. If I'm coming to arrange this this here, I'm not going to do it because all oh, pastor will see it. No. I'm not going to do it to see it because all oh, others will watch me and say, oh, he's walking. No. I'm going to do it because I'm following Christ. That's what I see Christ do. Christ will serve. I'll come and do it. Then Jesus will see that. Even if no man promotes, even if no man says thank you, don't worry. Christ will reward you. Amen. Amen. That is what it is. That is what it is. That is the real Christianity. Hmm. Jesus said. If I just say, if you give your gift, make it in secret, so that the Father who sees, who sees in the secret, will reward you in the open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see that? He will reward you in the open. So, this is the way forward. Mm-hmm. The world does not know this way. The world no opposite. Mm-hmm. The world wants to be big in the eye of everybody. They, want to, they don't want to start. They want you to start there. Mm-hmm. And even when you start there, the Lord says, thank you. They just, just go. It is, it is their eyes. Jesus said, don't go that way. But go in the right way. What is the right way? Deny yourself. Mm-hmm. Number two, take off your cross. Number three, follow Christ. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. Hallelujah.